Hi, these comments are for PL. I am Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. Thank you for sending me your TOEFL speaking practice test. This is my free TOEFL speaking evaluation service. I'm going to listen to just one of your speaking practice tests, and I'm going to give you an estimated score from 0 to 30 points. I have the TOEFL IBT independent speaking rubrics right here. And I have your practice test and the email that you sent me is, Hi, Michael, please listen to, evaluate, and score my speaking practice test. Let me know which areas I need to improve on in order to score higher on the TOEFL speaking section. Okay, here we go, buddy. See what's going on. So what do you think is better, studying alone or studying in a group? It's much better than studying in groups. Let's go back to the beginning one more time. Okay, here we go. According to me, studying alone is much better than studying in groups. There are the following advantages and pros of studying alone. Firstly, you can study at your own pace. Whenever some content is difficult for you, you can slow down your pace and understand it carefully. On the other hand, when something is much easier for you, you can speed your pace there and do it faster. This is not possible when you are doing group study. Also. In case you require the help, which is an advantage of the group study, what you can do is you can talk to your mentor, your teachers, your guides, and they can certainly clear your doubts, thus giving the advantage of group study. Thus giving the advantage of group study. Okay, so let's look at the rubrics. Yeah, I think the your speech is basically intelligible. I'm looking at this one area. And this is where I think you're running into some trouble. Speech is basically intelligible. The listener effort is needy because of unclear articulation. Choppy rhythm or pace, right? The other one, maybe I think you have some limitations with grammar and vocabulary, which prevent you from full expression of ideas. And what really throws you off, I think, is that you, you're using a lot of the you point of view, you this and you that. But in order to really su support your general ideas, you need to give examples from your personal experience or from the experience of someone you know. So there's really no need for the you point of view. That distances yourself from the speaking task and that's not what you wanna do here, right? What if you give an example of when you prepared for a biology test and you were individually studying for that test, why was that the best approach for you? How did that help you? explain that from your own perspective and that really helps support the example that you're trying to make there so i'm going to put you between 2.5 and 3 i'm going to say 18 to 19 points out of 30 on this practice test that would be my first impression let's listen to it again one more time according to me there's no according to me you don't need that studying alone is much better than studying in groups well, you say studying alone is better, but in the conclusion, you talk about the advantage of group study. There are the following advantages and pros of studying alone. Now, you don't need to say that. Just say, in my, just say, in my opinion, studying alone is better than studying in a group because, and then state maybe two reasons, reason A, reason B. Then you can go on and refer to each of those in a different part of your response and then give a specific supporting detail for each idea. Firstly, you can study at your own pace. See, there's the problem. First of all, you can. And then that moves you from the task and you're no longer part of the conversation. Well, if you say, first of all, if I study alone, I can study at my own pace. For example, two months ago, I was preparing for a very difficult biology exam, and I was trying to understand two important concepts, the process of mitosis and meiosis, two forms of cell division. Because I was studying alone, I spent about five hours on the first concept of cell division because I was having more difficulty with that one. And then with the second concept, I only spent one hour because I already had a lot of information about that. So because I was studying alone, I could control my own pace without having to worry about other group members, right? That's detail. That's a detail I'm looking for, but that's not what you're giving me. 
whenever some content is difficult for you you can slow down your pace and understand it carefully again you're not giving any specific detail at all you're talking about things in a very general sense and you're using the you point of view and the problem with your delivery is you're not really varying your tone that much and you're having problems with pacing and all of that makes it difficult for me to understand what you're saying and i got headphones on look at this and I can turn it up really loudly. Now, if I have trouble understanding, well, Michael, you're 55, of course you have under trouble. In, but listen, if, if I have trouble understanding you with headphones and I have volume control, what do you think is going to happen when you're talking to somebody in a crowded restaurant? They're not going to understand anything that you're saying. So you really got to work hard on your delivery. On the other hand, when something is much easier for you, you can speed your pace there and do it faster this is not possible when you are doing group study also right and you didn't give any detail to support that and now you're moving on to another idea in case you require the help which is an advantage of the group study what you can do but why are you going to the group study you're shooting yourself in the foot your whole argument here is why you value individual study more and then near the end of the response you go into talking about the the value of, of group study don't do that leave that alone if you want to deal with the counter argument you might say in the very beginning although some prefer group study individual study is better because I can control the pace at which I study my course materials. Maybe you say that, and then you give the example that illustrates that, and then you're done with it. You want to end with your position and your argument. Don't, you don't want to end your response here to discussing the opposite view, because the question is not asking you, you know, what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, individual and group study or what are the advantages of individual and group study had I said that you could have done what you did but that's not how the question is phrased is you can talk to your mentor your teachers your guides and they can certainly clear your doubts thus giving that advantage of group study yeah and I have no idea why you just did that either so uh, I, I think that my score is pretty accurate. My first impression is usually pretty good. I'm going to say 18 to 19 points. I've said enough. If you have any other questions, uh, you can come by my office. You will see below my name my, my office hours. So you can check, you can check that out. And, uh, and if, if you're looking for a specific course, I'm not sure what, what course will be best for you because I need some information from you. You can put it in the email if you want and I can answer, I can make a recommendation. So my first question is, what is your overall TOEFL score and then your reading, listening, speaking, and writing subtotal scores, right? Tell me that. Then secondly, what is your target score? What is the dream TOEFL score you want? And what specific subtotal scores in the reading, listening, speaking, and writing do you need? Right? So you give me that information, and I can recommend a course that I think will be best for you based on your current level and where you want to go. All right? And thank you for doing this practice test. And and anybody watching at YouTube, what are you guys doing over there? How's it going? Uh, could you do me a favor? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I talk to my students every day. You can learn a lot just by getting listening to the feedback that I give my students. Uh, how about this? Post this video in your social media somewhere other than YouTube so other people can see the kind of feedback I provide students for free. For free. And then uh, maybe make a comment below if you want. If anybody has any questions, uh, maybe you might score this student higher or lower. You can put that in the comments below the video. Have a great day, everybody.